Don't report on the dialogue, deliver the dialogue. If you say, I had a conversation with, with my boss and we were talking about, that's not delivering the dialogue, that's reporting on the dialogue. Pat Wynn called and said, Patricia, as you know, we are a $2 billion software company with aspirations of being 20 billion. We have just bought our major competitor, and so we are having a very important kickoff sales meeting, 1,500 salespeople at the Bellagio, and as 40% of them were acquired, they did not choose to work with us. This is a very important meeting. We want them to know they're at the right company at the right time, and the strategy is sound. The work you've done with our engineers and leaders has been fabulous. Now we want you to work with our president. He's not a bad speaker. He's an engineer, a little shy, brilliant, but we don't have any corporate rock stars. We want you to write him a speech, turn him into a rock star, and you got four hours. Now, Bernard was the most magnificent gentleman who, from the moment we worked together, when I said, how do you do? If you had one sentence rather than 45 minutes, what would you say? He said, this is a brand new company. I said, good, write that down. Welcome to a brand new company. Now, wh whose idea was it to be a company? So we conversationally talked through the speech, and people come saying, it's five and a half hours. Bernard's still with Patricia because he realized the impact he could have. And then it got to the point where we were talking about corporate citizenship. There'd been a tsunami and the salespeople had donated $360,000 and the company had matched it. And it was obvious, he was passionate about this. He believed in corporate responsibility, in corporate citizenship, but his speech was getting boring. Now, certainly, if I had developed a relationship with him, I would be quite comfortable to say, it's getting boring. But this was the first time, and I was boosting his confidence. He didn't realize he could be a rock star. And so, what I asked was, Bernard, how do you explain corporate citizenship to your children? He said it was the day after Christmas. And I sat both of my children down and said, you are very lucky children. You have generous parents and you have even more generous grandparents. Perhaps you would like to give us one of your gift certificates or one of your presents and we'll take the money and give to the children who no longer have homes. He said, I was so proud of my 14-year-old son. He came back the next day and he said, Papa, how much do I give? I could give you all of my savings, all of my pocket money, and all of my Christmas presents, and it still wouldn't be enough to make a difference. What do I give? And Bernard said, I told him, oh, you never give it all. You just give enough that it hurts a little. 